I'll direct everybody's attention to Rocky Mountain College or Rocky Mountain State College, excuse me, hadn't won a game in four years when you became head coach there and you flipped the program into one that was winning six and four. You were awarded the NAIA Coach of the Year Award. What did you do to flip them around? Well, that, that, that was an interesting situation. I, I, I got offered that job and it was like they hadn't won a game in four years. And I'm like, well, geez, if I could win a game, that would be I, I'd be big time there, you know. So, so um, well, we, we, we went in, uh, we recruited a quarterback. They had a pretty good nucleus of players there, um, even though I had seniors that had never won a game in college, you know, in their college career. So, uh, but they had a good, good nucleus. I went out and recruited the quarterback and a, and a left tackle. Uh, and um, fortunately, I had a couple of receivers that were already there that, we, we just needed to um, kind of tap into their skill set. Uh, one was a guy named Chris Horn, who later played uh, a little bit uh, well for the Kansas City Chiefs. And they actually allocated him to Amsterdam for me uh, in NFL Europe. So I got to coach him later on the road, down the road as a pro. Uh, but what we did is we went in, we put in a high speed, no huddle offense, which at that time, 1996, wasn't real common. Uh, and we we spread the field and, uh, and threw the ball and, uh, we put it upon ourselves just to go in and outscore people. And, uh, we opened up the season with, uh, with, with Black Hill state that year. Uh, and you know, you're, you're, you're talking about a team that hadn't won a game in four years. We won the game and we won at 70 to 70 to eight. <laughs> so, um, you know, and I, before the game, I, I, I was in the locker room and I don't know what came over me, but I told it, I told this team that, uh, I said, look guys, if you guys win this game, I'm going to get you on, on, on sports center. And then I, I walked out of the, out of the locker room and I go, why did I say that? You know? And so after the game, they were going, Hey, you're going to get us on. And I called ESPN and I said, like, Hey, I've got a story here about a, a college that that haven't they hadn't won a game in four years and they won today and they, they said oh where and I said Rocky Mountain College and I I go oh okay and 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 I could tell I was getting the brush off you know and I said but they did it and they won seventy to eight and and they said hold on and so they got us on that segment called Did You Know I don't know if you remember that on ESPN Sports Center and. Uh, the kids got on there. We got, we had highlights from uh, the local NBC station. Uh, they sent them over to, to Bristol. They put us on. And the, the title of the, of the segment was, did you know there was a Rocky mountain college? <laughs> and did you know they had one game in four years? And did you know they won 70 day to eight, you know, in their first game? So it was really good. The kids got on and uh, you know, from then, from, from there out, we, you know, that could have been enough for the season, but we ended up with a winning record and uh, the, the guys did a great job and, and uh, the quarterback played well, uh, ended up leading the nation in uh, total offense and passing and scoring. So it was, it was just a fun year. And then, um, and, and that's, that was, uh, you know, my only year there. And, and, and I, I, that's when coach Jeff Fisher came in and asked if I would like to come work for him with the uh, Houston Oilers and and I did and made the move to Tennessee with him. So no coach, that is an outstanding story. I, I did not know this part about getting your team on television. It reminds me of what Mike Leach was doing at Iowa Wesley and calling up folks to let them know what he and Coach Mummy were able to accomplish. Thanks for watching this video and remember hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.